Anyway, welcome back. Um, uh, I was going to come back after lunch, but I got busy with things and uh, one thing led to another. And by the time I'd finished that, I was a bit tired. So anyway, so this is the next day, the following morning, nice and early. And I'm going to take you through basically trying to lay some track to the new area, which is the sawmill, I think. So if we go in. Uh, I don't want anybody joining because people join and just nick your stuff. Yeah, that's, that's a big pain, actually. Yeah, and it's one time that uh, somebody had gone in and actually they'd sold my trains and stuff. So I had to go back. <laughs> yeah, so... <clears throat> Okay, so at, the moment, uh, at some point I'll let other people on, but uh, once I've got it to a, a sufficient stage. But for now, I'm just learning the game. I don't really want to be trying into the game and finding some bugger as either move my trains or just solve my trains. Just uh, a bit of a pain. So here we go. So uh, that's where I left him. And. Oh, should be let's have a look see what state is okay yeah i actually think good nick got plenty of water so let's go off and uh, we actually want to go forward and uh, let's go yeah i did put on there on the discord channel i put a request that uh, they allow you to bring up the map while you're driving a train because it's a right pain in the bot Oh, why does it do that? And that's the other pain in the butt. Yeah, it uh, the thing resets the damn points when you bring a new server. And I just yeah, twice now. I thought maybe the first time it was just something I forgot. But no, when it when it you have to be careful when you do um, <clears throat> do leave the session uh, and you come back in. The points could be any anywhere. So. So that's a, I mean, you can put them on the track, but the, uh, but it's a right pain at the moment to pick things up and put on the track. They're very hit and miss. It's a lot of clicking. I'll probably show you later, but it's it it can be quite painful to try and pick the damn thing up and put it back on the track. A bit frustrating, but <clears throat> we shall see. Come on, let's try that again, Joey. So I'll go and check the damn points. But uh, yeah, so pick up some wood. Ah, it's so handy that you can save, actually. That does save a lot of effort. So we want to go forward, put a bit of speed on it, and take the break off. So we don't want quite that much speed. Yeah, it does accelerate up, I think, a bit too quick for me. I mean, I know it's a little engine, but still, I think it probably could do with the... So the braking actually really good, but the acceleration is a bit too off the mark i think even for a little engine it goes i would expect with steam would take a little yeah second or so to get started uh, so let's change yeah so the, i don't know why that is but the points don't always go to the right direction in fact they're all wrong yeah i wonder if they go they go back to a I'll have to check to see if they no, I wish I thought they may go to the outside state, but they know yeah, that one I changed from its outside to its outside state. So I don't know I don't know what it is. So we're coming in this way, that is now good. Okay. So I might actually just go and fill up some water while I'm here. Actually. So it's on this end anyway. Just Okay. okay, I don't know because I play, um, I've been playing other rail games and one of the things you can do in them is you can get a, uh, a console, yeah, yeah, physical console to, uh, to control the trains with, uh, I don't know whether this allows you to plug that in and control it, I don't know, I'll have to check. They're about 
200 pounds but uh but it might be worth getting because it can be a bit fiddly well, okay. right so i want to go i want to go back this way okay uh, okay for fuel i want it backwards so if you take the brake off, I mean the physics are really good, so it starts to roll back on its own because I'm on a slight incline, probably half a percent or one percent incline, but uh, yeah. And again, when you bump into the carriages, if you haven't put the um, the carriage brake on, flatbeds, whatever, it will bump them and uh, send them flying, so you've got to make sure. Oh, I think I've gone too far. I have gone too far. So I need to edge forward a little bit. I took the brake off a little bit. So I'm going to edge forward. Just so the uh, uh, water tank is, is right underneath, which it pretty much is. So, okay. So, yes, yeah, so you've got to get it right underneath that. Bizarrely, you don't actually have to open that up. I don't know why. You would have thought you would need to open it up. But that's, that's the first time I've opened that up. But I don't know. Whether it feels quicker or whatever. I don't know. You have to drag this down. Drag it really to be slowly. Otherwise, it just, as you see, it loses the grip on it. Grip on it or whatever. The mouse connection on it. And you just have to put it over the top. I think that's... Yeah. I tend to do. I don't know if that goes in because it looks like it's missing, but it might be going in. Let's have a look. It eh, no, it isn't. So you have to, you do have to leak, put up a little bit on this one, just so. I think it does need to look like it's going in for it to work. Yeah, so that does look like it's going in. So we can go and check the water pressure is up to 500 so i wonder if you'd leave it like that it would like run out of water i don't know if it, <laughs> it doesn't have a percentage on there so i expect it won't so anyway for realistic sake i'll put it up so it should stop dripping right now we go off so so what we're going to do we are in the freight depot and we're going to follow the track towards the logging camp but then we're going to break off right and go to the sawmill, which is the next destination. So what we will do is we'll go in, reverse is correct, we'll put a bit of, bit of umph into it, and off we go. So yeah, so although I didn't show you really how to do these tracks because I was just learning the game really, I'm just trying to figure out, and it can take a little while before you you figure out how to lay the track properly, foundation and point and stuff. So rather bore you with me trying to figure that out on the fly, which I do uh, get this done. And then just see, I've messed up the foundation back there a little bit. You might notice poking out, so I'm going to have to fix that. As I said earlier, if you don't want these tufts of grass coming up, you yeah, you need to put the foundation on. That point was set correctly. That was lucky. Uh, uh, the foundation, which I will do now. So, and I'll probably come back and fix this later and put the foundation a little bit high and relay the track. But, uh, yeah, I noticed on the forums, on the Discord forums, there's a lot of chat about how to do straight tracks and techniques and stuff. And I'll show you a couple of those. It's not actually that, it's not that hard to do straight track, straight tracks in the middle of nowhere where you do, doing them next to objects is a bit trickier. Because you've got to obviously, if you're doing next to a station or something, you've got to stop it. You've got to keep it aligned with the station as well as being straight. You've got to, you know, if you do it straight and it's slightly a percentage off, it drifts away from the the edge of the station or the thing you're trying to get to, and can be a pain. I've done a bit too far, I think, as you found out yesterday. That the, yeah, but I think I did a bit too far at the logging camp because it, the, the the things actually touch the. Thing. And I don't know if it's slowing down because it can be tricky to get started and stopped at the uh, logging camp. I think it might be because I've just pushed the pushed it too far to the the platform there, and it's just catching and slowing down. I don't know. I mean, that'd be cool if the physics are like that. The physics allow you, yeah, if you stop, yeah, you know, dragging up against something that actually does slow you down rather than just yeah, 
like some games you can walk through things and things like that and it has no 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 physics on it, it can just walk through but uh, i don't think this is the case and i've noticed when i log a, uh when i log down a tree chop down a tree and it falls near me or on me it pushes me away so there are the objects have do have physics in them as well so you've got to be mindful of that when you're doing stuff yeah so i'll see if you stop your train next to a, a tree i guess if you chop it down and it <laughs> falls towards the, the train it will probably knock the train off the tracks so let's just uh well it will stop anyway when i get off the thing uh and let's have a look see where we are you see we're about where we need to be so if we get out and have a look does the track the ideal would be when the track bends which is about here yeah so the track starts to bend off left here to go towards the logging camp so this is probably the ideal place to turn it right and go to the sawmill so let's go and have a look at because the, the, there's definitely some contours on the map so i want to see so i'm going to go this way and then see what's in the way see if there's any little bumps or hills i need to skirt around or whether it's a straight run to the, the sawmill Just at the moment we go dead straight to the sawmill uh, there's a lot of trees chopped down. That'd be kind of cool, actually, just to, because curves are can be a bit of a pain to get right. But I think that's no, that's the sawmill in front, which is good. Straight, keep going straight. You see, I'll, you see a tree. So you see, I went to the side. So the physics in the trees it's knocking me to the side as I go past. You see. So here's the sawmill. Do I need to be any particular side of it? I don't think so. Oh yes, I do. Looks like I need to be that side. So there will need to be a curve so the best bet is probably for me to start this end and work my way from the sawmill back to the line so oh yes yes you do need to be this way so what i'll do is i'll go a bit further down here now this is one of the techniques that uh that they showed right so let's, let's start with the foundation anyway because most people you normally you'd put foundation first but you can do it the other way around it doesn't need to be so if we go in get a bit of ground actually go back a bit further so i'll show you what i want to do so i'll show you i'll show you what happens if you don't do any contours on that. so if you go in here you go groundwork and you just put a variable grade in and you see it's if you see it's the same depth or height as the thing underneath it didn't give you any additional height when you put it in you see no, there's no height. It's flat, the ground. So if you want it above the grass, I'll demolish. I'll get rid of that. What? Demolish. There you go. If you want it above the grass, then you need to, to take it up a bit. So if we go a bit back here. Actually, we're going to go here. Obviously, we've got a long train you want to start. So we'll start. And this is where you've got to time it a bit better. I'll tell you what I'll do to actually because this can be a bit tricky in getting this right next to because I've noticed there was on another video somebody who put the track the track a bit too far away from this little platform there and the logs were falling in the gap and they weren't counting so you've got to be a bit careful so what I'll do is one of the like, they use some people use this and put loads of these down because they are they are straight and then they start taking every third one up and then join in between which will give you and actually it's quite a good idea in place like so you see well i've got to try and line it up the angle right so although it's straight i've got to get the angle right otherwise if i do it too much that way it will hit the platform i do it that way it'll be too far away from the platform down there so this is the tricky bit of, of getting it right i think that's right so put that down and that's my guide so what i do is i'll put a bit of track on here there you go and you see the little join comes up so when you're not in it and that's I mean, that comes up it joins on so then you kind of try and point it the right way what i do is i try and gauge the um I'm pointing point to the screen try and gauge the the end of the of the, the wooden beams uh what they call them i've got what they call them now try and get them so they line up correctly there rather than trying to line up the rails because i found that quite tricky to do so if i extend it out although the the rail's a bit pain because they're variable length, but I think I think that's about right. So if I do that, and what I do to keep straight is I don't move the mouse, get the mouse perfectly still, which is difficult. I just click the left mouse button and then move forward with the keyboard. And hopefully 
it stays well there you see i've gone too high see it stays no it doesn't you see it's gone away a little bit there so if i put it back to where i think it should be if i look back let's have a look see how straight that is uh, you see that's a bit wonky off you see so so obviously the first one so just take it oh, oh, wrong button push the right button left the right button, literally the right button. Uh, demolish that, get rid of that. So, well, actually, that rail is actually quite good. It's the first rail that uh, is a bit wonky. So I, yeah, you can see now it's a difficult, diff different angles actually show, show up. So this angle, you should see, I can, I'm at a slight, slight camber away from the platform. I think you have to be on the corner for this. To, yeah, you do. For some reason, you have to be on the corner for there to delete it. But this is a good, this is actually quite good. That's there. It's a bit close there. I need to adjust it. But that's not too bad, actually. So, use that. So, what I'll do is, so, so I will rail. Uh, that's really for track. Clean that up. And. We go six. And so with the mouse, just move forward with the thing and every now and then. Click at the bottle. Get used to it. Click at the button. Just click your left mouse button. This is why it'd be useful to have hotkeys. Somebody else in the forums has said, oh, can we have hotkeys for something? Because then you wouldn't need to touch the mouse. You could get off the mouse completely and just use the hotkey to drop it, in which case you would get perfect straight because then you just, I'm not touching the mouse now. You see, it would just be perfectly straight. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's join that one up. It's not joining up. Why is it not? Why are you not joining up? Yeah, that's a bit. A few bugs. We'll come off that. Go back in. Yeah, it's still a little buggy. There you go. Now I'll go forward. I'll just go straight forward, you see. It's not too bad. It's drifting around. Oh. I don't think you can. Is it drifting into the thing? Actually, no, that's pretty. That's not bad. I think it is drifting slightly into it. But, however, not enough. Yeah, it is. To worry about. I think that's probably. Yeah. No, that's that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Reasonably straight. Reasonably straight. Right. So that's not too bad. So what I can do now is because I want I needed to gauge it against this platform, but now I can lay the foundation. Now in the open you can just lay the foundation and stick it on. And you see it's all in the tufts of the green. So what I'll do is I shall stick a marker on the end of this one. So I'll use one of those and stick a marker on the end of this one. Like that. Let's see if it go, likes to go on this way. There we go. So that's my marker on this one. I know. Now I can get rid of that one. And that one for now, because I've got that one. I know where I'm going to. I'll cover that. All right, so what I'll do now is I'll lay the foundation and I'll start to show you how to bring the foundation up. Okay, so we get groundwork and variable grade. We start. Start in the middle, so you put your thing in the middle of the rail, as well, because that's where you want the thing, and then you, you drag it forward. Now, up the top left, you can see there's a gradient which says zero zero. And if you use, I think, your Q and E buttons, you can take the gradient, you can see it dropping, and you, or you can take the gradient out, and you can see it's coming up. Yep, just you don't want it that way, but you do want it out of the ground. So, what you want to do is you want to put it in the, fir the front bit, you want to put it exactly where you how far up the ground you want it so i want it there so it's outside the tufts so you can see you can see a few tufts of grass there and you can't see very many tufts of grass there so i lay that there that's taking me up right get rid of that so what i do now is lay that foundation all the way along to the end but i'll show you so groundwork okay gradient so now i want to join it up 
should link it up. It's not allowing me to uh, okay, put it there. Okay, but now you see it's gradient zero, so it will just stay at that height. So what I want to do is I want to line my, my cursor up like, well, in this case, it's a, a little orange plus sign in the middle of the track. And then just keep, oh, fortunately, it buries the track. Ah. So what I would do is actually I'll go back, you see. Now, uh, now that's something to talk So you see how it's buried the track here. The physics come into play, and I tried this out. If your train comes uh, along here, say it's coming from here, it comes along here and along here, as soon as it gets to about this point, it will derail because the foundation has come up by the track. So you have to watch the foundation over the track. So I have to see if I can get rid of this rail without the foundation. And it, yay! Sometimes you try and get rid of the rail and it gets rid of the foundation instead. So what I would do is I'm now. Yeah, it's I'm only it's only a bit fiddly because I need it to line up with this platform. But uh, yeah, out in the open you don't have to be so fiddly. So now I'll put the track back there, and it should. In fact, uh, it should. I don't know actually. I haven't tried. If you do it when it's on flat on the ground there, and you hit a gradient like that, will it automatically go up? Be interesting to see. Or do I have to start from the other end? Actually, so if I start there and I go that way. No, it does. You see it put. No, I have to start from the other end because it will it will reference it to where you've connected it to. So for the track to go up and follow the, the foundation, I have to start from this end, which means it's a bit trickier. Because I deleted that. I shouldn't have deleted that rail, I guess. Duh. Okay, I might to guess. I should have left that rail there until I join these up. So I'm a bit of an eejit there. I think I am. I think that's in the center of the screen. I think that's correct anyway so we might have, i can always redo it later anyway so yeah i should have left that connector in here and let's have a look so i think that's about right hopefully ah uh, you see yeah Whoop. oh yeah you see, <laughs> you see how it joins it up to the next one and then starts dipping rapidly so that's not good for a train so we'll leave it there but it is lined up, so that's good. Okay, whoop, so get rid of that. So now I can uh, continue on. Actually, uh, so I will, yeah. yeah, I should have left that initial uh, initial one in. So now on eight, let's see, see now it's laid nicely and you haven't got any tufties sticking through. And although we started off with a the gradient to start with, we're now above the track, above the, the fauna, so it look it'll look better. So let's get in the middle of the tracks and head, head that way. Ah, nope, got to join it up. I didn't do that correctly. Got to make sure it links, otherwise it will start all over. So there we go. I didn't get the linky sign, so it's still not doing it. Ah. Uh, I'll say a bit learning curve. Let's try. There right, we go. There's a link here. Just got to get the link in the right place. Otherwise, oh. ah, what? See, that's annoying. So it started. It's one, isn't it? Let me... See how fiddly it can be. Can't get any link anywhere else. Ah, you see it, the, the problem there is it's putting it up. It's, okay. So we have to basically lay the foundation before. Oh, damn. So anyway, so that's a bit of a pain and a, as I say, a bit of a learning curve. So what I'll do is I'll stick. You, you can't stick it on that end, you have to stick it on this end. Stick you as a placeholder there. I'll do the same at the other end. Right uh, around. Stick you in a placeholder there. And I'll put one on the other end here, the reference. 
Uh, uh, and now I will. Ooh. See, he's still learning. I mean, it was, I was even slower when I started off. And this, see if I can get off that foundation. You see, you see, it's now sitting in the air nicely. I wonder if it will, I don't know if you can run a train over that. I'll have to try that later so you can actually run a train. Let's, I don't think you can. Variable grade. Oh, yeah, that's joined up. That's fine. That's zero. So, oop, I want to. You've got a lot of leeway here, so I want to move it to the center. You just keep moving forward, and it'll pop up at some point, and you just keep it in the middle. Unfortunately, I lose my track. And let's see if, if I go off, if I put it back on again, because I haven't tried this at this level. Enable grade. Can I get it to go? back on it will so I can basically move this and say this you have to build the, the corner I'm not sure why that is that and bizarrely it's now when you're not not having to line up against the a platform it is like I say it's a lot freaking easier you don't have to and you'll see that yeah you go that's connected up correctly It look like anyway. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that looks all right. I mean, that's covering the platform, but who cares? That's fine with me. Okay, and I will put a marker at the end of this. So it's actually quite handy having these little ones because you can use them as, as markers. So, actually, okay. So let's. Uh, okay, you're going to get used to the. There we go. And okay, so now we're in, we're in the open world. So it's less important. Oh, it's nicely leveraged. Actually, it looks quite good. Let's put the let's put the track on it and see what it looks like. Yeah. So let's go and put some track. Oh. Okay, right. Okay, I want to go that way. So let's put it on there. Yep. I think that's about right. That's about right. Yeah. Good enough for government work. Oh, I got that up, didn't I? Twisted it slightly. I didn't. I moved the mouse. Hence the good, useful to get a hot key. That's about right. Stop moving the mouse. And I need to get. You just click. You see, you get used to the. You just click. You just left click. And every now and then, just left click. Maybe supposedly three foot. And that's it, I think. So because I didn't move the mouse, kept the mouse really still, you see that last that bit last bit train is absolutely freaking straight. Straight as a arrow. Actually that's not bad. <laughs> that's not bad at all. So yeah, so I'm impressed with that. So what I'll do is that's pretty good. I'll actually save that. <laughs> so if I mess anything else up too big, I can go back. Right. That's excellent. So now we've got to go well, where are we? So now we've got to find our way back to I think it's slightly that way. So I think we've got to find our way back. So what I've got to do now is I'm going to do some logging. So I'm going to get rid of some trees because I know. So that tree will have to go. So click on it. Left click on it a couple. Of, I don't actually have to check. So how many times do you have to click? So that's one, two, two. One, two. I've been clicking like four or five times. Right. So I want to go off slightly left. I know that. So I want to go this way. So I probably want to follow this route. Let's have a look at the map. Uh, okay, we need to go. Yeah, we still need to go around a bit. It's actually a slight incline there. So actually, so it goes up slight incline. So what I'll do is actually bear off left. Yeah, a bit. Out the way, tree. And then uh, 
as you'll see, this is actually a nice little, looks like it's a bit of a valley here. You can see it goes up there and goes up there. So actually this little bit of a valley. So if I try and stay at the bottom of the valley, just uh, clear my way through, it might actually work out quite nicely towards the actually what I don't want to do is clear out all the trees so you've got a big bear patch somewhere I want to keep it so you've got trees either side of the track so I know some people clear some people clear like a massive area either side of the track but uh, I suppose if you're intending to put double tracks in from that you see this one goes up slightly here you've got a bit of an incline so we'll see how we deal with that yeah the inclines are always a bit tricky you just don't really want to get I think three three percent is probably the highest you want to get but anything over that so there is a bit of an incline here you can't always spot that when you're running let's have a look see where I am yeah looks like I'm going the right way in fact I can see my train there's my train which is good so it's not far it's not a big run it's I think I'm, I'm heading right straight Logging count these ones. What I need to do is probably figure out how to curve it. So the curvy thing, uh, I think I might, because uh, I think you're coming from the logging camp to the sawmill. So the best thing is to do a right rather than branch off left is to is go into the into it. So it goes effectively straight on here. So, okay. So what I'm going to do. Yes, I'm going to go and lay the foundation if I can find my way back. It should be easy. I'll just follow the damn thing. So, yeah, there's a bit of an incline here, a bit of a drop here. Oh, that's actually a bit of a pain. So, I might have to, yeah, there's a bit of a dip there. So, I have to go that way. So, around. So, I have to count, otherwise, that would be too much of an incline. Although, you can fix it, those dips like that, with using the, the foundation. But I don't want to uh, make sure. Let's see. Right. Anyway, let's go back. Meanwhile, my train would have run out of fuel because it's been sat there so long. So when I go back to the train, I'm going to have to stick some fuel in it. This looks relatively okay flat. It's a bit of an incline, but it's not too bad. Okay. And probably these two trees need to go as well. Uh, well, maybe that's need to go right. So, right here we go. So we're back to our track. Oh, nice. Hopefully that is perfect because I did a really <laughs> poor job at the at the uh, at the logging camp, as you'll probably see. Uh, okay, so I want to have yeah, foundation now. So I want to extend the foundation and let's have a look. Hopefully that joins up. Yay! And I want to try and get it. Straightish, uh, move forward and drop, move forward. Ah, see, there you go. Now, now, now it's a bit buggy. You see how it's dropped, it dropped down suddenly? So oh, that's a bit of a pain because now I don't necessarily know so what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to cheat because the problem with the foundation is much harder to gauge if you're straight. <laughs> So that's why I put the I tend to put the foundation afterwards, but because we've got it at the right height anyway, let's just knock this out. Because as you see, it'll put it in the. Yeah, well, let's go run up so we are straight. It'll do in the air anyway. I think. That's straight. So yeah, straight-ish. So. Click and just don't move the mouse button, just move the thing every now and then. Oh, click. Is it dropped? Ah, oh, you pain. It's dropped it down. Look. Ah, oh, no. That's like, that's like annoying. <laughs> Why did it drop it down? Why didn't it stay in the air? Oh, God. Oh, that's, that's annoying. I thought it'd stay in the air. Which means it would be fine, but it's not. It's going to be a pain. <sighs> oh, okay, which means it's getting straight track is going to be a pain. Let's see. 
Uh, let's have a look, see if it was parts of it staying there. See when it actually drops down. Let's get my line up. Okay, and does it drop down straight away? Yeah, it does straight away. Uh, okay, yeah. Oh, that's a pain. That's a pain. Uh, okay, so that plan goes out the freaking window. So I just have to go with it. I see it's, it's a slight, oh, it's not too bad. Oh, and that's, that's a, that is so buggy. See, it's not giving me a new tr piece of thing. So they need to fix that because that is freaking annoying. Can't actually. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's gone again. Let's try it and keep a straight line. Oh, now it's doing it. Yeah, cause sometimes it'll just do that and it'll be fine. And then you see, oh, whoa! <laughs> right, you see this hour how that comes into the air there. You can see it's where it's going in the air. So what I've got to do is put a minus incline into that, stop it going into the air. So I want it above. Uh, it's got minus two, minus three, two, minus two, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, this is going to, that's quite a big incline, isn't it? Oh, I wonder how the thing's going to take this. I get minus 10. Okay. It's be interesting. Oh, no, it goes, I'm going to go back up. Oh, this is. This might be too big a gap. Zero and then hopefully obviously now I need to be very very off. Uh, I see. Uh, see, can be a bit tricky. It's gone down. I didn't want that into it. Okay, let's try. Oh, great work. Variable grade. Let's go. This hopefully all. Right. right. Let's get this bit of a. I think I've kind of. Okay, let's have a look. So let's have a look at this. Oh, my curve's way over here. I messed that up, haven't I? Do it. So anyway, yeah. So it's uh, these old oh. Egypt logging. Uh, let's go to trees. Right. So now we're going to put a point in. So there's a bit of a curve. The bloody curve. Oh, it's here. It's actually not. So this is the curve. I'm going to put it about here before it curves off. So, right. Okay. Uh, 
uh, demolish this bit of rail. Oh, oh, to demolish the dam thing underneath it, which is a bit annoying. Uh, but uh, it's okay. I'm going to put a, well, I want a left hand turn. Switch left here. Whoosh. Yeah, look at that. And that is a bit rubbish. I need to go further back. Need to go further back on this. Right, okay, that should be enough. Okay, let's try that one again. Still, no, nope, still need to be further back. So I don't want to get rid of that curve up ahead because that's the right curve. I want to make sure that this curve is okay. So I'll do actually. Might have been better to do that over here. Before that big curve, it might have been it's all curved. So I wonder actually, I might put that curve back in. It's a straight bit here. This might be better to put it in here. Put that curve back in. It's all a bit of trial and error. I suppose once you've been playing it a little while, it's probably more intuitive as to what you need. But yeah, let's have a look. Oh, where's my switch go? It's left. Thank you. See that? <laughs> That's a bit rubbish. Didn't even connect up. There's a bit of rubbish. Come on, guy. Uh, you're probably laughing. But I could always edit that. Oh, that's not too bad. Look at that. That's not too shabby at all. It is a bit off. So what I need to do is just get rid of that bit, and then I can line it up. So there we go. It's it does have foundation underneath, but you see, I didn't bring it up high enough. To right, okay, so let's try joining this up as if by magic, and it's not too far off. So it's, it should. Not be too bad. Cool. And now we're off to see the wizard. So let's see where we are on from that. In fact, we'll do put the logging on so we can, as we go across, we can get rid of trees either side. I think it's going to go kind of this way ish. Freaking, that's miles off, wasn't I? It's miles off. Just keep going this way. Okay. It's just cute. This actually looks actually flatter this way, actually. So I'll actually stop using the word actually. I'll try and curve. Because I think this might be better to go through this way. And join up with the track. I'm suspecting. I don't know. Where's my bloody track? No, is it? I've lost my track. Oh, is that? Is, oh, Christ. Okay. That's the logging cam. So my track must be. I don't know where it is. Uh, I've lost my tray. Where's my razor? I don't know what I've done with it. Oh, Christ, miles away, isn't it? That's why. Oh, I see, yeah. Dips out. Uh, we'll see how it uh, takes to that. Takes to this. Oh, that's quite, a, that's quite an incline there. I don't know if it'll take that incline. I'll have to check on the train. What I'll do is actually start. It's earlier. Get rid of this shite. Start turning it earlier. Way, way earlier. So actually, I don't think. If I turn it before I need to go up this hill, it might actually be better. Uh, uh, 
quite line it up but if we start where the bloody am I going see how it <laughs> I don't know where I'm going oh it doesn't oh, okay that's a, that's a pain you stay you stay level with the freaking thing oh great Oh, that's going to be okay. But that bridges the gap, so which direction I'm in. Okay. So hey, bridges the gap on a on a zero. Let's go up a bit. Where is it? Where are you? Oh, it does that sometimes. It just stops working. You have to go reselect it. Actually, I have to probably. Delete that one. Oh, this is going to be interesting to see this will join. Oh, well now it's put me on the fucking. Oh, make up your mind. Now it's actually put me on. Maybe you can't get on it while you're in that mode. Oh, that's good. But however, I need that to go up a little bit. No, not down, it's down, it's down. There we go, up a little bit. Let's get up on that gradient so it's not too bad. Oh, it's still up. So it's above the things where am I on that map you see the map okay I'm just gonna go straight now all right I'm gonna take that down a notch actually it's way way too high anyway kind of mess that up a bit and I don't need to uh, yeah because I don't need this this high it's fine there, but I don't need to level it off a bit. So let's put it in a variable grade, and that's okay. That's good. So but let's oh, do a grade. Still need a bit of grade. Let's Notice the trees there. Knocked me off balance there or off track. Whoa, I don't want to. It's going ridiculous. Okay. I want to be. Oh, there's my, there's my rail. So. I actually want to bend a bit before I get to there. I didn't realize I've got that that quickly. So I want to start bending back here. Ah, oh, it's a bit of, as you can see, it's uh, a bit of trial and error. Oh, yeah, that's why it's all trees out. Ah, so yeah, actually, hmm, let's have a think about this because that is actually bizarrely came straight into where my original point was. Duh. So let's oh, let's have a rethink about this. Let's do something a bit radical. Let's we want to curve around there. Oop, got rid of the foundation bugger. Um, okay, let's. Let's think about switch here instead of so the curve switch curves that way. So I want it to go. I want it to bend around that way. So I want it to. There you go. Let's go do a right switch instead. So that's still bending round. Oh, that's not far off. I need to fix that. But however, ooh. Thank <laughs> you. 
Where did my gray? I think. I hate this. Okay. Let's see. Just. It's kind of cool because I can just. Although that gray, obviously that gradient up there needs to come down as well, as you can see. Oh, I need to line this up a bit better. I can just click as I go along and it will. Okay, right. So now I just need to join it up and have my. Ah, uh, you see, oh, you see there. Oh, oh, that's bad. See, that would probably derail. So what I need to do is. Gradient down. See my first. The first pass was a bit rubbish, and I am buried the track now, which is kind of cool. So I'll put this track back. It'll probably work better. Okay, hmm. it go up a little bit. Dips up a little bit there. Hey, that's a bit of a hump there. That's going to be interesting. I'll have to fix that later. Sod it. <laughs> that thing right go to plan that one, did it? It's, um, let's, yeah, it's nowhere we need to go for that. So I can start. In fact, that's going to come down quite a lot. That's quite high, isn't it? Okay. Right, yeah, that's better. It's about the height I want. So that's cool. Right, let's start bringing this groundwork back in. Okay, I need to see where the switch is. Ah, oh, oh no, I thought it was going to drop off again. Okay, yep, so. Okay, so that should be good. It starts to catch in like this. Because this is oh it was a bit rubbish in the first place, so let's have a look see. Oh I went off a straight to start with, did I? End on to there. End on to there. This is doing this very well. Now I can just follow the follow the yellow brick road. Follow the follow the follow the follow. The slight bend in there. Yeah, you've got to be careful of the bends in your track as well. Obviously, look, I'll give it some trees. Oh, some trees there. Good on me. Why is that not? Oh. Point of view is a bit. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can get this bit straight. I think it's going that way. So I'll try not to move the mouse button again. Let's see if I can get a straight bit of track. <laughs> Didn't until I hit the tree. Okay, oh, around the bend. Yeah, around the bend is about where we are in my house. To be honest, oh, here we go. Here we go. There we go. This is quite. Yeah, so you basically shorten the track to go around the curves, otherwise, it looks, looks like an old world video game. Oh, kind of just put little short bits in to get around curves. Oh, that was a bit rubbish. That was a bit rubbish because I'm going to have to go. Yeah. I 
Hopefully we we'll delete the track. Yay, not the foundation. I find that's a pain, right? Let's see if I can. Let's, uh... The mouse, mouse moved. Sure, the eyes play tricks on it. Yeah. Okay, it's way more sense. That looks like it's doing really well. Line it up. I think I'm going. That looks good. We can speed up. That looks like. Actually, that's not bad. That's not bad. The white's not. There we go. Join. Here we go. All right. So let's have a look. Go down that track. You see, we've managed to get rid of that incline there, which is quite good. But there's still a bit of an incline. Oh, duh. while I'm going along, cut the trees by the track. Uh, okay. Uh, cut the tree. That would definitely derail the trade. That one. Uh, okay. So, okay. Just clip it the sideline. I don't know if these branches, or I don't know if it will just be the, the trunk that will derail. I don't know if the branches have an effect, but you wouldn't normally on a railway let the branches go over the <clears throat> near the things anyway. So here we go. Let's have a look. Oh, we go. It's very unenvironmentally friendly here. Thank God, it's just a video game. Don't feel guilty about cutting down real trees. Okay. Oh, you are. You need to go. Sorry, guys, you need to go. I mean, uh, okay, I'm probably okay there. <laughs> it's just, it's just a bit rubbish, isn't it? So, I'm going to get rid of that because that was stupid beyond belief. I just uh, think uh, I even know what I was thinking there. Just throw a bit. That's the. <laughs> okay, I was trying to be clever, and I shouldn't try and be clever because it doesn't end well. That's, that's not as stupid, is it? Okay, right, cool. I'll put the groundwork back underneath there. Yeah, when you get start getting the angle of it, it's actually because you can speed through then. Oh, that's. <laughs> pay attention. Dirt. Oh, the, that is a bit of an incline I must have put in earlier. Okay, so yeah, pay attention. Uh, that's just going to freaking derail. So, ah, stop talking and pay attention to what you're doing. Right. Okay. Let's put a bit of a... Okay, clearly I need a bit of a... Uh, decline. Okay. And I'm just doing it so I can just see the rails underneath, so it's not hiding rails. I think that's about it. Although that last one was a bit rubbish. I don't think actually I actually need it. No, I don't, because that's already on the rail. So let's go and have a look. And it wasn't too long. As you say, as you're getting used to this game, it's a, it's a bit, the points aren't the right way, so I shall go and change the points to the right way. 
actually. Before I go, I'll go and get rid of this thing I put in. It's abomination. Uh, okay, join. Join these up. Me up. Thank you. Right, I think what I'll do is I'll actually save that one. Oh, I'll save that anyway, just so it balls it up. Right, I've changed that to the right direction. Let's go and see what the train does. Yeah, this will be interesting. Right. My little bit of steam coming out of it, which is surprising because. I stopped fueling it friggin' ages ago. So, hello, baby. Let's have a look. Uh, I'm gonna need wood. Put some wood in. Ooh. Right, let's have a look. Yay, loads of wood. Steam is pants, so my water temperature is rubbish. So, let me water temperature come up to there. Because fire temperature went down. Or temp, you need some. Oh, well, I don't think it will it even move. <laughs> Let's have a look, see if it will actually even move with no water temperature. Oh, it does. Oh, it moves. Okay. So water temperature is 10. I don't know how you move a steam train with only 10 degree water temperature, but hey. Not going to argue with it. It saves me waiting around for another minute or so. Right, so let's. Okay, we are safely over the points. We can come off. Let's change your point. What's the point? Ha oh. Yeah, you have to get used to my crap jokes. Okay, let's stick them in reverse. Let's see what happens. Let's go follow our little, a little, little porter, a little porter train. Oh, a whistle! Saw whistle. Oh, I've got no sound. Oh, yeah, there's still a bit of an incline there and there. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be. It's actually easier to see the inclines once you're on the train, bizarrely than. Oh yeah, and look at this. Oh, there we go. oh yeah, that's a bit of an incline. No, not too bad. And then we go. Let's see. Oh, so what we need to do now? That's actually not too bad. <laughs> not run off the end of the thing. That's actually pretty good. Oh, there's a little bump there. Okay. No, I can get that bump out later. Yeah, it's the, oh, I've got to change that thing over, haven't I? So I've got my uh, reference thing there. So let's stick him forward. And we've got good pressure. Let's go along. Let's see, this is, uh, yeah, it's a bit of an incline going up there. But no, let's, uh, let's see how it does with the full stack of logs though right you're not you're only taking logs this way so this is the incline it's going to struggle with because when you're coming back there's no logs is there i think i think you have to go to the other side to pick up the sawn timber so we have to do a junction off here somewhere to go to the other side of it to do the sawn timber what i haven't tried is you can build the sort of wooden lattice bridges so i know i used a lot of um just use this the foundation to do it but you can actually so I need to go back and get my uh, get my wagons. So and I'll stock up with wood and I think I'm probably all right for water. But I'll stock up with. Oh, she am alright. Let's go backwards. Okay. Let's 
I have to turn that actually is turn the bloody sound on. I don't know why I've got the sound off from Egypt. Let's uh should I try to turn the sound? I think. Oh yeah, no no, that sounds on. Just I haven't got it. Sorry. See, I have not got the sound on. Not why. Uh. Ah, I know why I'm not getting sound because I was watching a video earlier, or well, late last night, and I uh, turned the sound off. There we go, look at that. Amazing technology, eh? Right, so. Ah, I can hear shit now. Let's go in and blow. See, we see. Here you go. We have sound again now. We don't really need it for putting the track down, to be honest, but. Right, let's get going. Go. Nice job, sound now. Now you're running the train, but I suppose put the track down. <laughs> well, you get sound from cutting down the trees. I think there's a thud when you put the track down. But, uh, I am not going to redo this whole video just to get sound on while I'm laying the track. <laughs> so. it's water levels, yeah, I'll drop that much. Fire temperature good, 400. My water temperature. It's good, everything's good, so I don't need to restock, I just need to pick up, pick up my stuff. So yeah, it's, that's quite a straight bit of track there, you see, I thought that, well, quite a nice straight bit of track there, so. I'm saying, why don't you go faster? I will. Ah. Shit. Ah. Yeah, that's so annoying that you can't bring the map up while you were driving the train. I think that's a, a real quality of life thing that they can put in. Hey, you can always put comments about that below if you want. And have a little bit of a moan, don't we all? Uh, so I don't know, I'd be interested to know what the what things they're going to tackle next obviously it's early release so things may change but there's a lot they've got right physics are right i think uh the mats will be nice to get up i think uh re-railing locomotives is a right pain in the butt and often it's simpler just to to do a, uh, to re to go out load preload a save game if you kind of save your game often enough then uh yeah easier to do that right so now i need to I think I need to go the other way. So I'm to change my point to go down to go and pick my wagons up. Okay, let's, let's boogie on down. Yeah, you don't want me singing, trust me. You do not want me singing. See, that's sped up quite nicely there. But before when I did it go and come this way earlier, it just the good started straight away, which is a bit uh, whoop. Okay, so that's that's my there's my wagons. Right, okay, so as we just today, I'll stop it a bit short. Because I want to make sure that the uh, the linkage is on. Which it probably is not. So I need to add the link in. There you go, so you've got your little link. Right, now we can Oh, actually, just going to make sure that the thing is on 100%. Oh, I want to take it off. Oh. Okay, and now we can... Yeah, you see, I'm a bit too... You see here, it's clipping. So I need to move this track away. So just clipping just here. I need to get that out. There's a, a 
this board job. Okay, so okay, so we'll uh, we'll connect up, and we'll, we'll go to the the logging camp anyway. Right, and to break off, and then we'll come. We'll fix this a bit. Oh, too high, too high. Slow down. Don't slow down that much. Yeah, there we go. That should be good. Come up. Yeah, it's clipping into it, which I think is causing it to slow down a little bit. And it looks crap anyway. So now you need to got this. So that comes straight out, as you can see. When you actually successfully join it up, you'll know because this will dip. So what we've got to do now is add a pin. Add a pin there. There you see. You add the two pins. You see it dropped. Now you know it's actually connected because <laughs> I was first playing it. Can I get the damn thing to, get, to, to connect? I get running off with the steam train and leaving the things back. Coming back, thinking I was connected. Running off, coming back. Running, oh, God. That was... Right, so let's go. Oh, oh no, I'm not annoying because I didn't check this off. You can actually move them with this, but I suspect if you got these on when you're fully loaded, it probably will stop you. What's going on? Oh, we've got no fuel either, so I need to stock up with fuel. Okay, good. I have to keep an eye on the... On the on the fuel, otherwise your fire temperature will drop. Let's toddle off. There we go. I love that whistle. Did a good. Don't change the whistle. Whatever you do, <laughs> whistle. Brilliant. Okay. Right. Okay, here we go, we have a bit of a breather while we go grab some logs. I think I have to change, uh, no I don't have to change the point, so up here where the point is, but just chug along. So I hope you guys, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this and I hope uh, you're learning some stuff from here. So, I'm making little mistakes here and there, but it's, you know, it's you make mistakes you learn but I made a lot of mistakes uh, my first day doing this uh, the other day and yeah that would have been just plain boring plus a lot of swearing as well so hopefully now I've got the hang of it there'll be a lot less swearing and a lot more interesting to do obviously uh, while we're doing the long run you can talk amongst yourselves of course sit back and admire the scenery. It'd be cool if there was some like deer wandering around or thing like that or sheep or there's a bit sheep out here. Deer or cows and stuff knocking around, some animals just generally wandering around. It'd make it a bit more interesting. And some birds flying around. Actually that would probably be quite easy to put in. The birds just flying around. And uh, yeah. Got an animal. Yeah. Rabbits and or hairs, whatever. Would be nice to have. I suppose it probably later. Just make it more, I guess, realistic with some some animated stuff going on, rather than just static. I believe they are going to be doing weather effects, which would be cool. Oh, snow! That would be cool. Get snow and try and dig yourself out of the snow. That would be super cool. But rain would the rain make it slippier they do seasons because they do different seasons as well that'd be kind of cool and autumn and well, i suppose the pine trees so the leaves don't fall off pine trees but yeah i think the first thing fixes the bloody map button or have a mini map you could have like you know up in the top right of there just have a little mini map That'd be cool, actually. So you don't have to fix the map. Just put a little mini map up there that you can toggle on and off if you want. So you can uh, show you. You'll be the centre of the ship. Yeah, that's not. But most games when you're moving about in uh, MMO, MMOs, just yeah, have a little mini map in the top right. There we go. We went past the, the junction, didn't we? Yeah into the logs so right showed you yesterday logging so anyway 
for brevity, I'll just load a couple of wagons up. But yeah, actually, it's, it's very, very calming. Very cathartic. And so other than you no know, crap to money now, I forgot about that. Got an incline here. And unlike the other other sort of train sims where you're just doing the trains and you have a few little things like collecting something from the platform or something like that, this is actually much better to building rather than just running a train. Now, okay, and then we're doing it. Oh, I shouldn't check the fuel, fuel, I'll stick some fuel in. And keep that at the end. Right, so we will load up. That's, I still think it's so, so well done, these uh, skins on this uh, crane. But yeah, they could do with a base on there. Make it we'd make it a little better by having a base around the bottom of this, so it's not stuck into a, the wood like that. That'd be kind of un, fairly unrealistic, I suppose. Well, I don't know though. Yeah, the base might be underneath in the real world. The base could be on the floor, and it's just pushing through. But you'd have a bit of a gap around it. I suppose. <sighs> You get six planks. I think they're ten dollars of each. You get for them if you sell them at the um, at the depot, freight depot. But we're not. We're going to take them to the sawmill. We'll make planks and things out of them. So right, one more in here, and then we'll well, do that one. Shut down. We can do. Shall we do two at a time? <laughs> yeah. Do them both at the same time. So if you're with somebody, that'd be easier because you can load these things up quicker. Just, uh... Somebody who's uh, else is inclined to want to play this kind of game. Most people in your action RPGs or your or your World of Warcrafts or stuff like that. The scrolls and things like that. These are, I guess, a bit more relaxing. Actually, at some point when I've made enough and enough, I'm open the server up and uh, let people in to, to join in. They might want to. I can hear, yeah, you can hear them sawing away at the trees in the background, making more logs. To this and then we're off to see the wizard. Okay, let's take him off. Plug off now. Okay, how are we doing? Fire is good. We want to go backwards. And off we go. Just remember to change that point. Now let's see. Come on. Oh, off we go. Oh, I turned the train off the end of the bloody bluff. I never noticed that. Trains off the end. I don't think it'll go. Oh crap! I bugged the train off the end of the. <laughs> oh, uh, that might not actually go anywhere. Uh, oh, <laughs> I did not even. That's why you should always go a bit further with the bloody tracks. Uh, okay, new mistake. It's touching slightly. I don't know. Can I dump these off? Uh, I might have to. <laughs> oh, that was a bit disappointing, wasn't it? Not unload anything key. All oh, right. Ah, you got to stay while it unloads. You can't. You can't disappear. 
have to stay next to it while it unloading it while it knocks you on the friggin' head. Okay. Ah. Oh. <laughs> My poor little trade, Betsy. My poor Betsy. <laughs> Well, I'd be able to drag myself. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> uh, shh, we won't tell anybody, alright? That was oh, that's stuck there. Right, I've got to load the bloody things again. More pain. Actually, I wonder if this actually might work better, actually. <laughs> Do it that way. Get knocked off. Physics doesn't work on there. Fix the physics on there. It should knock you off the thing. <laughs> I don't do. uh, should have done that quicker. A bit of running backwards and forwards, but I bleed needs it. It's not touching, is it? No, it's not. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be any drag on there. Unlike my uh, the freight depot. Right. Theoretically, you've been taking the freight depot out, smashing it to bits. This is going to make life a little quicker, isn't it, by doing... <sighs> I lost. Still sat there on the end. I'm sure somebody will go and clear that log away when we're, when we're, once we've gone, of course. I want to sit sitting there forever. Oh, that was a load as quick, wasn't it? That was twice as quick, in fact. Duh. Okay, uh, that's it, I think. Okay, and <laughs> let's go round again. Ah, stop singing. All right. Hopefully, this time we will start going. Look at that. It helps you know. Dip your tray. I'm glad I dipped the front wheels off. <laughs> okay, so I can climb here, so I can take the power off and let it coast. I wonder if you can. I wonder if the physics may. Oh shit, yeah, you will. See how that tipped? Oh my god, you gotta watch. <laughs> you can tip off the rails. Oh god. Uh, there's a bit of break on there, it's a bit quick. Uh, yeah, you can. <laughs> I was wondering if you could tip over if you go too fast around the curve. Apparently, it looks like you can. I went up to two wheels there. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, that would have been a bit embarrassing. I've got to start all over again. Which I'm sure you guys get bored. I'd have to cut that out. I'd have to like, just redo back rather than make it sit through if you it back. But, uh, anyway. Oh. We got to change the signal. The uh, signal. The um, remember to change the point over. We got to it wherever the point is. Where it is? Chuggy chug. I thought it was here. Uh, I'm kind of. Worried then, I thought, where's my point gone? It's not my point was there. Uh, we'll stop to it. Do need to do need to stop. And check. Point is going in the right direction. So don't oh we need to go to no it isn't see because we need to go to the sawmill, so we off we go to the sawmill. Woo! And my first run to the sawmill with stuff so let's see how we get on okay uh oh totally off we go okay why is it I'm not sure why he's telling me to do the bell I don't want to do the bell no. the horn sounds much better Chucky. Oh crap! Oh, that is a big. You see, I mean, it's done pretty well there. Actually, it's pretty. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> it's like a roller coaster, this is. Uh, it's like one of those roller coasters. Actually, it's quite nice that slows that down. <laughs> I'm just coasting to the. Let them know I'm here. I'm arriving, guys. Hey, okay, let's break and let's unload. Yeah, I'll take a break a bit. Take a break. Oh, other side. I think it unloads it into the water, so it should log zero out of hundred. Up and down. Knock myself on the head. <laughs> it does knock you on the head. Look at that. I don't think I make any money out of this, do I? So I'm nine four six. I don't think I make any money here. But, uh, drops them in the water. You see, they're in the water. Yeah, like I say, I saw somebody else had put this track a bit further away over here, and when they dropped the load, it just dropped down and disappeared. It didn't go in the water, so that's why I've done it like this. I don't think you get paid for that. Oh, you do. Oh, you get paid for that. Look. Oh. But now I've got nine, I think. Go through the water? What happens when you go through the water? I used to do that. And I think you need to come we need to come over the other side. All logs. Logs go into there, obviously, and they get planed into uh, either planks there or big timber chunks there. So we've got to oh, that's kind of cool. we got to um I wonder oh no. No it won't it'll do well. I was wondering if it could uh, actually drive into there. If you get the track going under there. But I suspect you can't, because look, it, the way they've done it is... Uh, oh, well, you might be able to drive in. Can you go in? Ah, oh, if you put your own track over the top. Can you go in? No, you can't. You can't go in. That's a shame. It'd be nice to be able to park your thing in there, wouldn't it? Put your own track over the top. So we've got to we got to later do a rail here so we can pick up these items. However, yeah, that, apart from a couple of glitches in there, that went really quite well, actually. You'll find your first 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 day laying track won't go that well. Honestly, it won't. But my second day of laying track, and it's not too shabby. Uh, I need to put a bit of extra track on the end of that uh, of the logging camp so I don't fall off the end. Now I've got a longer train. I've got a thousand, so you know, I bought. Yeah, you, know, you get one, and I bought uh, one, two, three. You come with one, one, two, three. I have more. I think the train's broken up because I think I got a sneaky feeling. I have a feeling that it's disconnected my other three trains. Let's go and have a look, okay, before we disappear off. Off we go. I've got a sneaky feeling that it's uh, disengaged my other three bloody. So I've got six. I could get one. I bought two originally to make three, and then uh, <laughs> stupid me left left them somewhere else that I didn't realise I left them. I came back on and thought, shit, I've got the train. <laughs> and the train. Where's my wagons gone? No, my wagons are gone. And I thought, oh crap. So I bought three more wagons. And now I've got six. But ideally, you'd probably have six or eight wagons anyway. But uh, yeah, you buy a local. I was an idiot. I forgot I just uncoupled my uh, engine to go and get water. And left my uh, my things by the freight depot, and then forgot when I came on. Did a lot of swearing going on because I thought, oh my god, the game's bugged out and deleted all my stuff that I paid three hundred dollars a piece for. Uh, but it hadn't, so I apologise to developers. That wasn't a bug; it didn't delete my. Um... So now, if we go to, off we go back to the camp. Uh, actually, go and see if we can check to. Yeah, so that's another thing. There is a bug though, because I did connect them up. They were all connected up previously. Let's try the bell. Let's try the bell. Go, 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 the bell. <laughs> Some nice little touches on this, I must admit. Uh, for an early early access, early access. There's a lot 
Oh, you got to turn the bell off. Oh, okay. I think. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Okay. So, yeah, for early access, there's not that many bugs. I think the the putting a train back on and a, one of these episodes I'll purposely derail a train although I'll probably actually I'm not on purpose to derail a train anyway and I'll show you how difficult it is to get the bloody thing back on but, um, <coughs> but yeah apart from that it's not too many bugs yeah I think the, I think this little engine is 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 overpowered. I know that because you shouldn't be able to pull away that way with those many trucks. You should pull away slowly. And I think somebody else said one of the one of the other wagons get who's completely un, the bigger 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 engine is actually completely underpowered. And it's like twice the size of this damn thing, two or three times the size of this, and it and it can't pull what this can pull. So although it's a little shunter, it shouldn't. Uh, shouldn't have that much power, they need to balance that out a bit, but, uh, but yeah, there's nice little touches, there's nice detail in there, there's lots of plenty of little detail, I love the way it wiggles around, because it would in real life, to be honest, the physics are really, really well done on that, detail, detail on some of these things is really good, detail in some other bits, probably a little bit of work on some of the skins, but that can... That can be improved. Oh, the thing's still, the flap's still up, so I'll get bits of tree and stuff <laughs> falling into my water tank. Oh, you can see, oh, no, it's not, you can see in the water, there's the water, you can see, you can see the water tank, it actually does reflect water. So it's nice little touches like that that make a game sometimes. Oh, 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 I need to, I need to stop because I need to, oh, oh, I might bugger that up. Because, uh, oh no, uh, yeah, no, I'm going the right way. I did set that the right way. Oh, second, I was, uh, Going into the water tank and the uh, fuel. Fuel is not there, but no, I'm going to. Yeah. Where are my other three? I've lost them. They have, they've gone. I had six. So there is something going on. Because well, where the hell are the other three? There's definitely. I had, I had six. I've only got three now, so three of my coaches have disappeared. Okay, coaches wagons. I'll do actually. What I'll do is I'll show you. So I've got a turntable here, which is quite useful. What I'll do is I'll show you how to buy a wagon, because then we'll have to wrap up for a little while. So I will show you how to buy a wagon. So. Go in and just go there, and it comes up with a wagon, and you can you can see you can get different ones. That will have to get for the, when you get the planks and stuff. You need that. Uh, that I'm not sure for. Uh, it's car. Oh, it says there card, wood, and oil barrels for that. Uh, and then you got iron ore carts. Ooh, it's expensive tankers. Box car, which is quite good. A little hand car that'd be cool. I might buy one later, later but yeah. No, you can buy another one of these. Uh, buy a bigger one of these. Oh, it's a big one. That's really oh, Christ. The price of these, though. Ah, oh, look at that. That's so cool. It's steampunk like that's really nice. Uh, yeah, that's wow. Well, look at that. Got the flags and everything. Oh, yeah. So, this is the cheaper one. This is the one that's all something that looks cool, but it's got no grunt behind it. This so it needs uh, Eureka. That's it. So, anyway, so we'll go back. That's what it is now. I assume the lad. And stuff right so we want one of those we want one more of those i'll order that that'll come off my tally it should bung it oh there it is bunged all the way down there so i need to get onto that rail okay i'll get onto this rail in fact i will before i do that because i'm already here i'll show you it's probably quicker here you've got to make sure you put the little thingy bob on there the link so go on and add the the link there we go <laughs> oh, excuse me make sure that's on it is let's go and get our train and link it up oh oh sneezy 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 it's all the pollen in the air in here like drinking my uh, uh 
Okay. I don't know where the bloody other three. That is really annoying. It's all entirely possible, I suppose. Oh, it's a fuel. Okay, it's entirely possible. I wonder if I accidentally went back to a save game that didn't have them. Yeah, entirely possible. Yeah, it's entirely possible that actually I reverted to a save game. What I tend to do is before I, yeah, I tend to do, started to do, is use the top one, the top save game as the final one. So I always go back into the that first one. And that's my final log out and the others I just use for keeping progress. Okay, let's get off here. I suppose we'll get used to the train to get much better at Oh that's not too bad. Much better at not too shabby. Right. Yeah, and that's the other thing I find annoying is quite oh, right. you can't seem to do them from the other side of those, you have to go to the that side to do it. You can't if I went on the other side of that point I wouldn't be able to change it, which is uh, a little bit annoying, it's not the end of the world, but okay, let's go and get uh, oh, shit, wrong way. Shh, don't tell anybody. Oh, look at that, that's kind of cool. It's slipping on the rails, that's really cool. A bit too serious in there, and I still got to uh, sort of fill up with water anyway. Still remember to close the flap. Right, so here we go, here we go. Oh. I don't know which way these have set, so this might be... Okay. Oh, no, that's good. We're all good. good. Oh yeah, because we did the water, didn't we? So, top up with water there and get some more firewood before we... Uh... So, yeah. so it would be nice to be able to move down the train, right? I mean, I know you can... Oh. I'm going to pump into that for a break. Break. Oh, look at that. Fucking perfect. <laughs> totally, totally by accident, but hey, actually perfect. But, uh, 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 pretty sure, right, so I need to add link and. Where are you going? No, don't, don't roll off. Should I put the brake on? Did I not put the brake on? That's going to run away, isn't it? That's not gonna. Okay, that's gonna be a bit of a pain. Why are you rolling away? I put the brake on. I'm sure I put the brake on. The brake is on! That's kind of cheating, games. Well, that's not fair. It's, it's like rolling away while I was trying to get the bloody pins in. Okay. Okay. Uh, the water. Oh, Christ, we can't go back to the water now because it's not. <laughs> oh, poo. Oh, well, I have to do it differently. Can't go back. Right. That was a bit. Bit of a bug. It rolling rolling away when uh, brakes oh crap. Speaking of brakes. Dirt. Brakes are on there. Yeah. It always puts the brake on when you first buy one. Sorry. Actually it would be cool cool if they did that. If you did that you could hear screeching. <laughs> That'd be kinda of cool. That you put the screeching noises if you'd left the brakes on your wagons. Can't tell you. But. So yeah, so that's how you. Uh, how you buy a wagon and attach it. So you get kind of used to it after a bit. It is a bit. It takes a little bit of working out. So it's always handy to watch one of these videos. I am. Right. Okay. I am going to leave you guys there for a bit, and I shall. Uh, catch you later for the next episode thank you for paying attention I say if you want to subscribe I yeah there's more than just this on my Haven Road channel it's mainly there to as you'll see to build the layout which I shall now I've stopped finished uh, doing DIY around the house 
repainting and recarpeting, I can get back to so do more on the layout. So there'll be more videos on the layout of my, my, my model rail going up shortly. Right, 